Yitung restaurant is the oldest existing Hakka Chinese restaurant in Toronto. We are known for our Cantonese dishes like stir fries and chow mein, but we are most popular for our chili chicken and our Manchurian chicken dishes here. So prior to lockdown, two weeks before, we noticed there was a huge decline in um, like just customers coming in, right? So we had to cut staff at that point because we couldn't keep up with the loss of revenue. We closed down for about six weeks or so. Jeanette and I were thinking of ways to adapt and, and figure out other streams of revenue that we can bring in. This sauce <laughs> is really our little baby. We've been working on it for over the last year. So pre-COVID, it was really this idea that we had to start bottling our sauces. And it was something that our family has been wanting to do, but it was just something that when you're a restaurant owner, you don't have the capability or the time to start creating products like that and trying to get them into retail spaces. A year ago, Joanna and I were just saying, you know, we really need to start pushing out this sauce. When COVID hit, that was just kind of like, it really accelerated the process for us. Chili chicken sauce, I think it's so popular because it's got a, like a sweet and savory, it's a little bit spicy as well too, and it's like rich in umami, so people love it. We use our own soya sauce and we use our own sriracha, our chili sauce as well too. So if you go to other restaurants, it might be a little bit higher flavor in a soy sauce, um, but ours is, I think, a little bit more mellowed out. So right now we have chili chicken sauce, but Manchurian chicken is in the making as well too. So that's our second most popular dish, and we're also doing sweet and sour sauce. You know, when you're working with family, it's amazing and it's great but there's also the other side of things I mean this is something that mom and dad created when they came here to Canada it's something that they started selling here first in the city and for them they just didn't want to give away the trade secrets whereas for Joanna and I we kind of saw the necessity of having something accessible for everybody to be able to make in their homes especially during this time after a year of going back and forth between all of us, we finally settled on something that everyone was happy with.